The Fiorano racetrack, the holy land for every Ferrari fan. This is where the Italians test their Formula One cars. And where we'll drive the Ferrari 575M Maranello today. The 575 is a successor to the Ferrari 550, with which the Italians revived the front engine concept in 1996. The facelift is subtly edgy, and with it, the thoroughbred coupe has lost none of its allure. An obvious feature, xenon headlights edged in anthracite. The air inlets for the brake cooling system and the huge openings of the more powerful intake section are bigger. The thermal strain on the Brembo brakes has been reduced by 15%. The 12-cylinder, a work of art with 5.75 instead of 5.5 litres and 515 horsepower. A wonderful sounding engine easily generates 589 newton metres of torque and afterwards crackles full of suspense. The classically beautiful silhouette of the Pininfarina design remains untouched in the 575, not only due to affection, but calculation. This will increase the previous model's ability to hold its value. Pure pleasure, the premium interior is joined by the optimal Formula One gearbox with paddles on the steering wheel, familiar from the 360 Modena. The speedometer doesn't exaggerate. The Ferrari's top speed is 325. Smoothly and with impressive spontaneity, the two-seater's engine heaves forward. 4.6 seconds, and it breaks the 100 km per hour mark. The 575 capabilities stretch from dignified Gran Turismo to spectacular sports car motoring. A push of a button is all it takes to adjust the suspension and gearbox to the racetrack. The altered shock absorber setups, however, still retains enough comfort. Despite its burly build, the Maranello can be driven almost playfully around the course. Neutrally, or with minimal oversteer, the Bella Macchina shoots around the northern Italian track. Steering commands are precisely implemented. However, when changing gear over 6,000 revs, the abrupt traction causes trouble on the rear axle. Equally worrying is the consumption. A saunter in town traffic uses up a whole 35 liters. If that doesn't scare you off, though, good condition second-hand 575s can be had from 60,000 euros.